ट्वेंटी सेकेंड जून अराउंड टेन थर्टी इन द मॉर्निंग आई एम ऑन दिस रोड दैट टेक्स यू फ्रॉम भतरौज खान टूवर्ड्स सराई खेत एंड फर्दर डाउन टूवर्ड्स गढ़वाल प्रेजेंटली आई एम एट अबाउट टू थाउजेंड मीटर्स एलिवेशन इन अ फॉरेस्ट विच प्राइमरली कंप्राइज ऑफ ओक पार्टली चीड एंड देन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ देवदार्स एज वेल आई टेक यू ऑन अ स्मॉल वॉक फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस दिस पॉइंट on the road side to the forest campus further ahead it's a wonderful walk through and a beautiful landscape for bird watching as well follow me up now this place is called manila the manila top there's a forest rest house down further there it's the manila forest rest house it's basically the jurisdiction of the almora forest division but this particular rest house has been managed by the soil conservation division this rest house you can approach around 200 meters from this point there is a modern fire crew station with the uh, accessories and paraphernalia there so let's start our walk you can see this particular patch has cheer as is also represented by the pine needles here then we have oaks and other miscellaneous varieties around some very old oaks as well as you can see now we'll just walk through and please focus and train your ears on the various bird sounds i'll try to minimize the the noise that i create while walking so we'll start our walk Well, since there is a road nearby there is a little bit of disturbance but then once we reach further down towards the forest campus this noise shall be minimized that there is a myrica esculenta tree locally known as kafal and a very uh, sought after fruit here so let's keep on our walk can observe the sprout of new leaves the light green ones which are promising for the year ahead Okay, let 
me show you something funny. Must have heard about this. So this tree, you can see it has lots of such holes. Do you know the reason? Well, various birds, they make use of these holes. Some woodpeckers, they stuff their acorns which they have gathered. Different other animals, they do it for other reasons, either finding insects or other things. So you can see the entire tree is lined with such small pits. There are species of birds called the sapsucker who do the same for the purpose of tracing the sap. Now here is the sap as well. It's a very translucent, rather transparent with a glow like that of amber and uh, it's very sticky. You can see it's very sticky. So we leave it back there. Could be a sapsucker, could be woodpeckers, but woodpeckers won't do this here in a deodar tree because of the resin comes out that comes out of it. All right, let's get down. Now, since this is the hilltop, that is the ridge line, hence you see the land is very uh, softly contoured. Then there are very gentle slopes here because of the constant erosion through the wind over two years. And thereafter, it has very well-defined slopes as if like in the alpine meadows. There you see the entrance for the forest rest house campus and the motor cruise station as well. We keep on our walk. This place has a tremendous biodiversity and richness in the species of uh, birds, then insects, moths, butterflies so this dear friends is the entrance to the forest campus the rest house and the modern cruise station let's walk further You can hear the cicadas. This is an abandoned building. Then cicadas on this tree, creating a good welcome sound for you. This is the establishment for this uh, modern crew station housing the staff those are the reporting offices this is the dormitory behind that is the reporting office The 
expected <laughs> unexpectedly there's a hand pump installed in here there's a small nursery nearby then we have this forest rest house we shall come to this from the other side we'll just take a detour the longer route Once again, this is the Manila Forest Rest House, located at an elevation of about 2,000 meters above the sea level. You can see it's very well cozily ensconced under the guardianship of majestic Deodar trees here. This is the front view of the skyline and there's hardly anything parallel to this. This is a walnut tree. There are walnuts growing over it. They are in mid-maturity phase. There's one. There's two and there are still more of you. Walnuts. Cicadas overworking themselves out. There's a small patrolling trail that goes from here towards the other side and then further down the ridge takes a detour and then comes back from the other side around six to seven kilometers of general patrolling path. When you walk on that path you'll find the footprints of bears, leopards, then jackals, some more ungulates. That's the garage and this is the other side of the rest house. The trees here have been pollarded for the purpose of providing a bit better view. These are the rooms for the servants and the auxiliary staff and this is the general route for the motor vehicles. They arrive, go into the garage and the officers, they take these stairs. So here we do. So we have arrived at the Manila Forest Rest House and the moment I arrive I find two tortoiseshell butterflies having a playful fight. And there's this another small one. There's a juvenile tortoiseshell playing around there. There's a bee hovering over those flowers for some food. Another few more species are seen but I would think I don't think the camera would be capturing it so dear friends welcome to the Manila forest rest house if you are seeking some peace tranquility and more significant meaning in your life do take a visit to such a place you lose yourself and you find your soul over and out.